Hello, I'm Dr. Ruben Rakopa. And I'm Dr. Susan Sirota. We've been getting a lot of questions about coronavirus and the disease it causes, COVID-19. And our video today is meant to address some of those concerns. The most important thing to remember is that if your child has symptoms of coronavirus, don't just come to the office. There may be a better site for you to be seen and evaluated. The best thing to do is to call our office and we can coordinate that visit, whether it is in our office, the emergency room, or some other site. So please call our office first if your child has symptoms. First, remember, most cases are mild and they cause symptoms like cough, fever, fatigue, and some congestion. In most cases, infected individuals recover without any serious complications. In fact, about 80% of patients have no serious complications. Most people who contract the virus will come down with symptoms though, but that's actually good because if an individual is asymptomatic, they could unknowingly spread the illness to more people. Another piece of good news is that the virus seems to be very benign or mild in children. For unknown reasons, Children only get a mild illness with very few complications, and so far, there have been no reported deaths anywhere in the world in a child with coronavirus. Although there are no ways to guarantee that you or your family members will not get the coronavirus, there are steps that you can take to help reduce the risk. First and foremost, make sure you and your children wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds every time after going to the bathroom, before eating or drinking something, and after wiping or blowing your nose. If you are in a situation where there is no, not soap and water available, then it's fine to use hand sanitizer that's at least 60% alcohol. Other steps include cleaning surfaces and frequently used objects with a disinfectant on the EPA approved list of disinfectants that will kill coronavirus. Clean your smartphone, very important, especially your children's smartphones, and limit your contact with sick people. To prevent spreading this virus and other germs, there are several things that you should do. First of all, cough or sneeze into a tissue and dispose of the tissue. Cough into <coughs> your elbow. And if you or your child are sick, stay home from work or school. If you have travel questions, we encourage you to consult the CDC website where you will find the most up-to-date and accurate information. The numbers will get worse before they get better, so be prepared. Don't get too focused on the daily counts that you read in the newspaper or hear on television. Focus instead on what you can do. Use the disinfectants on the EPA list, wash your hands, clean your phone, cover your cough, and use caution, but don't panic. For more information and for further updates, visit our blog at pediatrust.com slash blog, our Facebook and Instagram accounts, and look out for future emails from us.